Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to discuss today a very serious geography issue, uh, that of missing upper peninsulas on maps. And it seems to be going around, and it's all over the internet. Uh, if we take a look and Google this, um, we can see that there's Reddit pages for it, uh, local news stories. There was a Super Bowl ad this year in 2021 that missed uh, the Upper Peninsula in a Jeep ad. And if I come down here, you can see that it was on Saturday Night Live. It keeps happening. And the White House even left it off. And so if I take a look here, we can kind of further look at this perplexing problem. Um, we're missing the Keweenaw Peninsula. Our students are being educated without the um, Upper Peninsula at all on murals. Not there. Uh, taking a look down here, we've got territories and regions. This is what we want to talk about today and how we can fix this using Esri software. Um, you know, as we can see, that's part of Wisconsin. That's not correct. And missing here, um, part of Texas. And as you go along, you can see the, the, the situation even here. Made in Michigan, missing the Upper Peninsula. Jets Pizza, part of Wisconsin. So obviously it's some type of uh, epidemic going on that we need to fix. And as a geography company, um, here's how we would do it. So as part of business analyst, um, let's go ahead and build some territories and see if as, an, as a geography company, GIS company, do we uh, leave the Upper Peninsula off? Um, so what we do here is we have uh, territories that we want to build here based on block groups in Michigan. And I've set those up. So what we want to do is create five. We want to create five territories and see what happens. Everything should be included. And we have, no, this is terrible. We're doing it too. We're leaving, we're inadvertently leaving uh, the Upper Peninsula off. And this is just not a good thing. So it's okay. Um, we have implemented a really cool feature in the last year in, in business analyst with the territory design that accommodates this. And how we do this is if we look at our options, we have something called the feature adjacency parameters. And by default, it's at a certain number here. But if we change this to say miles and possibly 10 miles, so we can come in here. What we want to do is we take a look at the distances we're looking at here. So we use our map, we use a measure tool. And what's happening here is that the territories will continue to grow and then we have all these polygons and then it won't jump over to uh, non-adjacent polygons. So we fix this by adding this buffer tolerance. And if we say, well, how far is the Mackinac Bridge from the lower peninsula to the upper peninsula? It's about five miles. So if I uh, put in a buffer of about 10 miles, in theory, that buffer should look like this here. I have a pairwise buffer that I created. And that, uh, that buffer there should cross over into the upper peninsula. And at that point, we should be able to kind of skip over onto the uh, other land surface and then continue growing our territories from there. That's what the, the feature that we added is all about. So if I do go ahead, I add a buffer tolerance, I run that. So I'm going to apply this buffer tolerance to my existing territories. I'll come back and resolve with five territories, and it should include everything in the Upper Peninsula. So let that run. And ah, we've fixed it. This is amazing. Um, it, it kind of solves this mystery of why this keeps happening. Uh, at least from a territory analysis level using our software. And as you can see, we didn't have some of these included. So we're missing Beaver Island here, and then we're missing the, the beautiful Isle Royal National Park. And that's because our buffer tolerance um, doesn't really cover Beaver Island. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't connect into these islands. I wanna, wanna add a, a larger buffer there. So instead of, um, let's see, I'll go back to the options. And instead of, 10 miles, I would probably add something like, if I come, take a look at my my distance options here. Let's see. And you can see this is probably, eh, I probably want to add maybe like a 60, maybe, I don't know, an 80 mile buffer. 
to include all the polygons in this particular uh, database. So that's a, a really cool way, a really cool new feature that we've added called the uh, buffer tolerance as part of the feature adjacency parameters within territory design. And just to show you that this problem isn't just for the UPERS up there, uh, it's also happens around the world. We can shift over to the UK and let's build a territory analysis here. So let's go new territory solution. We're going to include these districts that I've loaded in. Uh, just what, how I did that was I went and I changed my data source to the United Kingdom. And when I do that, Let's go to United Kingdom, click OK, and then I can load all the geographies and data from the UK. So that's what I did there when I connect to ArcGIS Online. Here we can call this our, our UK districts. Um, we'll give it an ID field, give it a name field, and off we go. So what this should do is build a territory solution of these base geographies and Hopefully, we don't have the same type of problem that we had in the Upper Peninsula. So let's take a look at our feature layer here, um, our ribbon for territory design, context ribbon. And what we'll do, we'll just go and do the kind of same thing. We want five territories all across the UK, and it should, in theory, expand and fill them all. And what comes and happens is it does not. So if I make this no color, um, we're missing Northern Ireland here, which is bad. Um, so how we can do that again is to go back into our options, feature adjacencies, probably take this from the default meters and then probably add 200 miles to include everything from that and then reapply the solve and then all the territories are going to be included for all the journey. So that's it. That's a little bit about um, uh, how we've improved creating territories when areas are uh, not adjacent or their islands or kind of off the map. Thank you.